So here's the thing. Mercury is going to go retrograde on April 21st until May 14th. Mercury retrograde is a buzzword. And whenever people hear Mercury is going retrograde, they say, oh my goodness, what's going to happen? So let's unpack that and see that things are not as bad as people describe them to be. And Mercury does us a service when it goes retrograde. Aloha, my name is Galit and welcome back to my channel, Astrology Dome. Today we're going to talk about Mercury retrograde, April and May 2023. And what does it mean for you? Now, Mercury has gotten some really bad reputation when it goes retrograde. Everybody's expecting delays and things are not working and things are falling apart and we have to review some things. Well, sometimes those things do show up. But it's all for a good cause because Mercury, as the ruler of our communication, is showing us something that we need to revisit and review and maybe sometimes redo. So let's get into what is Mercury retrograde in Taurus going to show us and why we're having Mercury retrograde and how is it happening? Because Mercury is actually, besides the moon, it's the quickest planet that we have in our solar system. So it takes Mercury 88 days to do the round trip around the sun. And actually, Mercury never leaves the sun too far. It can only go um, 28 degrees away from the sun. So it does this dance of running away in front of the sun, getting to about 28 degrees in front of the sun, then it turns retrograde, go back to meet the sun, goes a little further retrograde as if it's giving a message to the sun, then comes back to meet the sun, then continues on its journey. So Mercury is in constant flux and movement all the time. And that's why when you get people that are mercurial in their nature and Mercury is really of an influence in their chart, they are in constant movement because of that planet's trait. So Mercury is retrograde about 18% of the time and 18% of the people are born with Mercury retrograde in their chart. And that's not so unusual taking into account the amount of time Mercury does retrograde in the sky every year. Now, planets don't go backwards. So when we say retrograde, it's as, it's as if the planet does go backwards. No, it's from our perspective uh, from Earth, looking at Mercury, that it seems that it's going backwards. It's not really so. But for us human, this ability to see something and to have a perspective about something is a mercurial trait. So any perspective you have about anything in life is actually part of your Mercury position, sign, aspect. So Mercury is really important for us because the way we communicate in any way, shape, or form is mercurial. When we speak, when we read, when we talk, when we draw, when we do music, when we move, when we go, all those things are mercurial in their nature. So Mercury is a very important part of our life. And when it goes retrograde, it gives us that time to review something each time in a different sign, in a different bracket of degrees in a certain sign, and it means something else each time. So let's see the presentation and see what it brings us this time. So Mercury retrograde from April 21st to May 14. Mercury will go retrograde at 15 degrees Taurus, 37 minutes. All of you people that have planets between 5 and 20 Degrees of fixed signs, especially Taurus, are going to experience this more than other signs because fixed signs are either squaring or in opposition or Taurus itself. It's a conjunction with that Mercury retrograde. Mercury will retrograde from April 21st until May 14. It will finish its retrograde at five degrees Taurus. So between 15 and five degrees Taurus, this is the chunk of degrees that are going to experience this more strongly. Mercury stays in Taurus while retrograde for approximately 23 days, but it's actually staying in Taurus for a longer time, considering the periods that it's not retrograde. Here is the movement of Mercury retrograde. 
So Mercury actually on April 7th starts the retrograde zone because it is called the pre-shadow. It's the beginning degree of where Mercury is going to come back to. So when Mercury is going into its shadow, it is touching the degree that it will come back to when it goes direct. And it's called the shadow, the pre-retrograde shadow. Now things may start showing up around this date on April 7th. So think back what happened April 7th, if you can remember. If not, that's fine as well. What do you need to review? What do you need to look at again? What is coming up in your life so you can redo that in a better way? And in Taurus, obviously, this is relating to financial security. This is relating to our security system. This is relating to our feeling of being taken care of, of doing self-love and self-care and really building a security system in our life. We all want to feel secure. We all want to feel that we are standing with two feet on the ground and we are grounded, what Taurus really likes, and we have a plan that Taurus really likes, and we move forward. But maybe the area of Taurus in your chart needs some work. So Mercury comes and says, okay, let's see what needs some work in this area. So Mercury will start the journey on April 7th, at six degrees Taurus in the pre-shadow part of the retrograde going all the way to 15 degrees and 37 minutes, turning station retrograde. This is when things are showing up strongly. On the day or two before the retrograde and after the retrograde that we need to adjust to the energy, some stuff is showing up. And then Mercury goes all the way back to uh, on five degrees and uh, 51 minutes of Taurus. Again, this will be a point where things are showing up for you at the end of the retrograde. You are already in a different place in this place because you went through that period of adjusting and reviewing something. And here you are starting to get out of the retrograde. It is still in its post-shadow zone, but it's already clearing up whatever came to your attention in the retrograde time. So actually, the more sensitive time is pre-shadow, retrograde, and then by the time it reaches the post-shadow, this is when things are more clear to you and you know what you have to do. So this is the beginning of the post-shadow is when things are showing up, the retrograde showing us what we need to change, what we need to work on, and the post-shadow is showing us the plan of moving forward. Now, what's interesting with this Mercury retrograde, and it really is an interesting time in our life, is that it's happening in between eclipse season. The first eclipse is a solar eclipse at 29 degrees of Aries happening on April 20th. And this is kind of a new beginning. We are getting this surge of energy. And then right after this eclipse on the 21st, Mercury is going retrograde as if it's saying, Okay, you got zapped with that immense amount of energy of the solar eclipse. I will go retrograde and I will show you something that you need to review in order to have this grand new beginning. It's also helping us see something that we need to let go of because this eclipse, the solar eclipse is happening at the 29 degrees, which means we're also having a grand closure of things that we need to let go of. And Mercury is actually doing us a service, showing us in the Taurus part of our chart, in the value part of our chart, because Taurus is all about our value, what is really important and what's not. And if you're not living up to your highest values, what do you need to change in order to align yourself with your highest values? What from the past is still hunting you and it's still pulling you and you're not aligning with your highest values. This is why Mercury is going retrograde just after this eclipse. Now, what I did here is I show you the eclipses and why Mercury is going retrograde in Taurus at this particular time. We had an eclipse in November 8 in 2022 at 16 degrees Taurus. Does it ring a bell? Because Mercury is going to go retrograde at 15:51 Taurus, right? So it really brings stuff from November 2022. What is it for you? Pay attention. What happened to you in 2022? Then in November, December, 
We had Uranus at 15, 16 degrees Taurus. Again, that's uh, that the green, the sky is really loaded in the last year because Uranus has been going back and forth, retrograding on its own in that particular degree. So Mercury is bringing us this uh, message of change. Something need to change. You need to set yourself free. Where? In the Taurus department of your life. Something to do with your finances, something to do with becoming financially free. How can you devise a better plan and become financially free in order for you to really align with your highest purpose in life? So this retrograde will help you see what needs to change. That degree is an important degree in the sky. It is loaded. Then on May 5th, we're going to have a lunar eclipse at 14 degrees Scorpio now. This is really important because the 14 degrees Scorpio is a degree that is related to our South Node. The collective South Node is currently in Scorpio and we are all healing trauma. We're all healing old pain, childhood conditioning, past conditioning that is holding us back into limiting beliefs into pain. And so this Mercury retrograde in the opposite sign is really important saying, I will help you release something that needs to be healed, that needs to be released from your past in order for you to move forward and become more stable, more self-sustaining, more whole, more naturally aligned with peace, with love, with abundance, with beauty, all those beautiful Taurus traits that you want to embody in the Taurus house in your chart. Then... On May 15, Mercury goes direct again at five degrees Taurus, preparing us to embody that new plan that is coming for us. And what is this new plan? It's Jupiter entering Taurus. On May 17, this happy occasion of Jupiter entering Taurus is happening. Now we all like Jupiter. If you know a little bit about astrology, you should like Jupiter by now because Jupiter brings us abundance, expansion, growth, wisdom, good luck, all those good things that we all like to have. And so I feel that Mercury doing us a service by going retrograde in those degrees, cleaning up the beginning of the Taurus sign in our chart, creating a pathway to welcome Jupiter and say, hello, Jupiter, we want abundance. We want success. We want to be financially secure. Can you give it to us? So after you did your deep cleaning, Jupiter can come and give you that success and expansion and love and abundance and beauty and peace that you really want. Then on June 9, 2023, Jupiter is at five degrees Taurus. So I think that this is going to be a time where we're going to see something that is related to this Mercury retrograde or actually Mercury going direct at five degrees Taurus on May 15. Pay attention what shows up for you on June 9th. And then in October 2023, we have the last lunar eclipse at five degrees Taurus. So you see how it works, how the sky is playing this beautiful symphony Again, five degree Taurus, five degrees Taurus. What is going on? And Jupiter at five degree Taurus. So, so the lunar eclipse in October 2023 will actually show us something about the road, the path we have taken in order to get here and see something about our life, something that we needed to change. We took the action. We understand the path. We created another plan. We're ready to move forward. And I think this lunar eclipse at five degrees Taurus will be the culmination of this Mercury retrograde. And Uranus as the agent of change will help us create the change, make the shift, bring in the new. Now, some people are starting something new in their life, especially now because we're living in such immense change on the planet. And some of us are eager to start something new. As you know, it's not recommended to start something new when Mercury is retrograde. However, the post-shadow retrograde is much better for a long time endeavors. Because if you start something in the pre-shadow, 
in the beginning of the retrograde than in the progress chart of that business endeavor that you want to start. Mercury will go retrograde shortly after you start the business, which is not really ideal situation. So if you are starting something and you could not wait, because life does not work according to Mercury retrograde. So if you cannot wait and you have to start something, do it in the post retrograde shed. So this slide is about when can you expect those delays and things are not working and you have to redo stuff. Yeah, those things do show up. And this is around the days when Mercury is stationing either direct or retrograde. So those days are kind of wobbly. There is a heavy energy. Just pay attention that if things are not working, once we get accustomed to this energy, things will flow much better. So give it a day or two and don't worry about it too much. Mercury has rulership over speaking, negotiating, buying, selling, listening, contracts, documents, travel, mail, shipping. You know, things may show up and not work as proper. But sometimes we find that uh, delays can be really necessary in life because they show us something that we needed to see. They help us review and revisit and redo something that was not just, was not fair, something that we did in haste, something that we didn't really plan well. You know, it's it's a good time to reevaluate. It's like when we clean the closet, we're letting some old stuff go and we reorganize our closet. And by the time we're finishing, everything looks so beautiful and in order. And we feel a relief that things are more orderly and arranged and organized than when things are in chaos. The same thing with Mercury retrograde. You feel a relief after Mercury has gone through its rest retrograde and you have much more clarity. So these areas may be affected. Also decision-making. So let's talk about decision-making. We all want to make good decisions. So it's not really advised to make a new decision during Mercury retrograde. However, some decisions cannot wait. So what do you do? You choose the best timing possible and you reconsider and reevaluate this decision uh, more times than you would usually if Mercury is retrograde, asking yourself good questions, asking a friend to review, asking a colleague to review something that you need, asking for help from another set of eyes to make a good decision. And we did take uh, into consideration that delays and challenges are more probable with Mercury retrograde. But please don't panic. That's the last thing that you need in life, panic. Let's take it with a grain of salt. Delays are happening in our life and sometimes they're for the best. Taurus. Let's talk about Taurus. Why Mercury is retrograding in Taurus. And we have been experiencing Uranus in Taurus since to, the beginning of 2018. And Uranus is changing our Taurus department of life. Wherever you have Taurus in your chart, Uranus has been transiting there and will be there until 2026. So we're experiencing seven years of Uranus in Taurus, bringing fresh air to the financial department of our life. Taurus wants to be secure, wants to be well-funded, wants to be rich, wants to enjoy the good things in life, wants to have a good time, wants quality. But Taurus is also a very natural sign. It wants to be close to nature. It wants to reconnect the self with the natural forces of life because Taurus believe in abundance and Taurus knows to manifest abundance in their life by reconnecting to their natural cycle of abundance. We live in an abundant universe. It's just that we humans have created all kinds of systems that some of them have been uh, needing some reorganization and updates. And we're working on it. Pluto went through Capricorn, moved into Aquarius now. So we are working on updating our system, including the financial system. So when Mercury is retrograde in Taurus, we are rethinking previous opinions, previous decisions that we made, especially financial ones or security-oriented ones or sustainability ones. Maybe we are not living with, within our budget and we need to revisit that. 
Maybe we're spending too much on certain things that we shouldn't. Maybe we realize what the budget should be and we create a sustainable plan for us to move forward. So Mercury retrograde may be a rethinking of a previous opinion or idea that you made in your Taurus house, wherever you have Taurus in your chart. So look to the house that Taurus is occupying in your chart and know that you may be considering some stuff in relation to that life department. So if it's in your 10th house, it's regarding your career. If it's in your 7th house, if you have Taurus in your 7th house, it's regarding your relationship. If you have uh, Taurus in your 4th house, it's regarding your real estate or your home or your family. So please look at the house you have Taurus in your chart. Then in Taurus, we're reviewing project finance and systems of comfort and security. Taurus wants you to be comfortable in your life. This is the function of Taurus, to allow us comfort and to enjoy life, to enjoy good food, to enjoy the senses, to enjoy walking on the beach, to enjoy being in nature, to enjoy what life has to offer us. And if you're not enjoying and you're not giving yourself this luxurious time of being just in a being mode, maybe you should, maybe you should reconsider something. So what do you need in order to create a good secure system financially in order to enjoy your life in the most simple form possible? Mercury retrograde in Taurus will help us revisit our values or resources because this is what Taurus is all about. What do you value? What is really important and what's not? That is just as viable and important to see from all the noise that we have in our life, what's important and what's not, and how can we let go of those things that are less important and create more quiet and create more peace in our life and concentrate on the things that are important. So we look at project items and people in new ways in terms of value and worth because the people that we have around us are part of our resources, part of our community, part of what we can use in order to better our life. Whether we go to them for advice, whether they supply us with knowledge, with comfort, with love, with experiences, who are these people that are around you? And if they give you everything that you need, that's great. But if not, why are they in your life? Who are the people that you want to be in your life? What kind of resources do you need in order to propel yourself forward to become the next version of yourself? So all these will come to the forefront so you can reevaluate. And you might review and reassess your comfort level, sense of security, finance, personal income, and valuables. I know many people that keep their best wardrobe for only special occasions. I knew this woman that had beautiful dishes in her kitchen, but she always kept them for that one night of Thanksgiving or for that one meal of Christmas. And I was always wondering why would one just use something once a year instead of using it all the year? I understand she wanted to feel more important uh, in those uh, events and use the best she could, but how can you use your resources more uh, instead of stashing them somewhere if you do that? Or how can you use resources that you already have and you don't know that there are resources because you keep using them? But if you make a list of resources, you may just find that you have more resources than you ever thought you do. So this is just a good re-evaluation of what are your resources, and how can you really use them to the max and enjoy using them? Because when we use resources, we keep propelling ourselves forward faster. So maybe that's something that needs reevaluation for you. So as you see, it's actually going to be an exciting time, and we can really use a Mercury retrograding Taurus. The Taurus part of your chart, our chart, has been going through immense changes with Uranus. We're reevaluating our life and especially our financial security, and it's good to reevaluate because once you see what reality is, you can make a plan. 
But if you are constantly in denial of some parts of yourself, especially the financial part, then we cannot progress. So by having this reevaluation period in our financial sector and in the way we take care of ourselves is really an important, amazing time to create that clear plan of how you're going to move forward with more security, having that plan of financial security. And then this will allow you freedom. Uranus in Taurus wants you to create more freedom to just enjoy your life to the fullest. So I hope you liked my video. If yes, please uh, comment, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. And as always, please take care of yourself and become the best version of yourself today and every day. I will see you next time.